Hey, Penny Pinchers, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day and looking forward to the weekend. This is your glamorous Penny Pincher, Shalomi, and today I will be participating in a challenge that is hosted by Crafty Kitty. And with this challenge, we can uh, make or put together DIY whatever we want. The only criteria is the items must come from the Dollar Tree. There is a, a, a number of uh, participants in this challenge, so I will link all their information below so you can go over and take a look at their beautiful items or DIYs that they have created. So to get this project going, I have a small candlestick gold and silver votive candle holders, the plastic napkin rings, some bling. Of course, you know I'm gonna use my glue gun and I have glue sticks. So I've actually gone ahead and did some of the work. So the Candle, the napkin ring, sorry, I have actually glued two of them together to get the height that I want. And I have gone ahead on a couple of them and put the bling around it just to cover the, um, the seam that is created when you glue the two together. So at this point, I am just going to add the bling to this one to show you what I've done. So this is two together and I'm going to add this piece around the seam or the adjoining part um, that I've done. I'm just going to get my glue gun, add some hot glue to the end of it. Look for exactly where the seam is. Put it on. And these were already pre-cut to the exact measurement of the napkin ring. So you just uh, put it all the way around and then connect it, connect it at the end. And you will have strings. You can pick them off as you go or you can wait till you get to the end of your project and then you do a, a general cleanup. And there you have it. So I have three of these and th these will serve as extensions to get my, uh, my candle stand as high as I want it to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to glue the first uh, gold votive candle holder to the top of this candle stand. And all you have to do again is to get the glue around the base or the tip of the candlestick. Flip your votive upside down so you can find the center. And just make sure you press it in, hold it for a few seconds. If you like, you can also go ahead and use your um, E6000 glue for this. But you guys know I'm always moving quickly, right? And for the E6000, it takes uh, an extra time, extra time to dry. You need extra drying time. And it's recommended that you leave your items for 24 hours so that it really holds. But for the sake of this video, I am using the glue, the glue gun. So that's the first tier of the candle holder. I'll add another stick. Then I am going to add the glue inside of the candle holder. Nice and generous. And then I am going to add the extension in it. I want to make sure we put it in, make sure it's straight. There you go. So you can already see it building. Then I'm using three. So I have two gold and one silver. So I'm going to put the silver 
in the center and then I'll add the other tier. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to build on it. In this case, I'm putting the glue on the bottom of the, the votive candle holder. You know what, let me go ahead and remove this paper backing so that it does not lift. That way I can get the glue directly onto the holder itself. And we go in again and make sure that it's centered. You can do it that way or you can flip it. I'm gonna flip it. And then again, you hold it in until it's firm. So I'm gonna to continue to do this and I will be right back when I get to the top of it. To show. So I forgot to mention that I'm also using this small round mirror that I also picked up at the dollar store and there were four in a pack for $4, so it, they were a dollar each. So I've built it up to the height that I want it to um, go to and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this small round mirror to the top and then I'll come back and show you the end of it. So here it is, I have built it up as high as I wanted it to go and I have added the round mirror at the very top of it. And just to give it a extra, you know, glam or more dimension, I'm actually going to sit it and I, I thought of gluing it together, but I'm not gonna glue it just in case I wanna change it or move it up uh, a little bit later. But this is a Starburst mirror that I've had on my wall that I am going to sit it in and I actually did get this from the dollar store and I've just added a little bit of bling to the edge of it just for, you know, the extra effect. So I'm going to sit it in and it sits, it fits perfectly in there and I will come back and show you how I'm styling it, all right? Okay, Penny Pinter, so this is how I've styled it. I've just added a candle, again, from the Dollar Store, or the Dollar Tree, to the top of it, and it's sitting on the Starburst mirror, just with a little uh, beading at the base of it. And this is one of the ways that I've chosen to style it. I think it turned out beautifully. I'm actually liking it and thinking of making a second one. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think, if you like it. And just give me your feedback. You know, those are always valued. So this is it, my DIY Dollar Tree candle holder, which again, as I said, stated earlier, is a challenge hosted by uh, Crafty Kitty. I'm going to show you the second way that I've chosen to style it. Okay, so the second way I've styled it is by putting this hurricane lamp, the shade around it, um, it's still sitting on the Starburst mirror, but I've just added the shade to it and I think it just adds that extra effect to it and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving it either way, without the shade and with the shade. I hope you like it. As always, like I said, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. And if you are actually going to try to make one of these, it was very, very simple and I think it looks very elegant um, you know, coming from, with items from the Dollar Tree. Who would have thought that something so simple could, uh, you know, turn out to be so beautiful? Again, I am your glamorous Penny Pincher Shalomi, and I thank you so much for watching. So until next time, love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye.